Hello, Blast Boys and Girls. It's Mrs. Ellen, and I'm here today with Sunshine, who is joining us. She's going to sit on the lap of the big lion and rest, because today we're going to talk about rest, what Jesus says about rest. In the verses that I'm going to read in a minute, there are two different kinds of rest that Jesus is talking about. There's the kind of rest where, rest where we relax and we enjoy ourselves with nothing to do because we're like we're on a vacation. Then there's the kind of rest that we need to take through uh, when uh, to refresh ourselves and to recover our strength. Kind of like when you're at school and you go out for recess. You take a bit of a break, but then you have to go back to, to doing work. And so, as I read these verses, think about which rest Jesus is talking about. This is in Matthew chapter 11, and I'm only going to read the last three verses, where he says, Come to me all. Did you notice I underlined it? Not a single person is left out of that invitation. Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Now, did you notice there's some special words? Labor means hard, heavy, tiring work. Laden means to be bowed down with a big, heavy load. And then down here, burden is a special, it's just a fancy word for problems. And we always think that only big people have problems, but you know what? Kids have big, big problems too. Kids experience family breakups. They might be experiencing incurable disease or disability. Or maybe they're being bullied. Maybe they're feeling lonely. Maybe they're missing somebody. And with all these kinds of big problems come negative feelings of anger and worry or sadness or fear or feeling lonely. And how many of us haven't experienced some frustration while we were trying to learn how to Zoom and do our work. And Jesus wants to share in those problems and help us. Now, because he said, come to, to him. But did you notice that when we come to him, he doesn't say, I will take all the problems away. No, he says, I will give you rest. And how is he going to do that? Well, he says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. And that is this kind of a yoke. Jesus, in Jesus' day, they hadn't invented tractors yet, so farmers would use a yoke. And they would yoke two oxen together. One ox on the one side would be an older, experienced ox. And he would train and teach the younger ox, who was just learning how to work, to work with a yoke. So the older ox would lead the way, the younger ox would follow follow what the older one was doing and learn. And together, pulling that heavy load, the heavy plow or a heavy wagon full of things, together they would pull the load and it wouldn't be so hard and it wouldn't be quite so heavy for them. It would be lighter and easier for them. And here's a little experiment that you can try at home. Ask if you can use an empty laundry basket and then Fill it full of your toys. And once you've filled it, carry it across the room by yourself. And think how easy or hard that was, how heavy the basket was. When you get across the room, ask for a helper to come and join you. And have the helper carry, pick up the handle on one side and you pick up the handle on the other side and carry that self-same basket of toys back across the way. You didn't change the weight because you didn't take any toys out, in or out of the basket, and you didn't change the distance. You went back the same way. But didn't it change how, how easy and how light the load was? It was easier and lighter to do with somebody helping you, wasn't it? Don't forget when you're done at your experiment to put the basket nicely back and also all your toys. Did you figure out that rest with the yoke is sharing our problems with Jesus daily so that we will be refreshed and get our strength back? And that the rest for our souls is our final rest in heaven with Jesus? 
Oh, yes. So, what are you doing with your basket load of problems? Are you carrying it all alone? Do you need help and rest? Ask Jesus today. Jesus loves us and he wants us to ask him and he wants to us he wants to help us. And now it's time for my rest. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. See you next time.